Welcome to Electra Online. The emergence of a star essentially goes through about five stages, starting with an initial interstellar cloud, interstellar mass that slowly collapses under the force of gravity, and usually with a bit of a kickstart. We've seen that under typical cir circumstances with typical temperatures and densities, it takes about 200,000 years for an interstellar cloud to collapse into something that will eventually turn into a star. So we call that stage one, the initial collapse of the molecular cloud. Essentially, at that point, you have something in the center that has a much greater density than the rest of the cloud. Things tend to fall into it gravitationally and slowly building up what will become the protostar and eventually the real star. And that process, where we have something now the size of our current solar system, is what we call stage two. The process there takes about 30,000 years to go through. Eventually, what will happen is that the emerging star begins to radiate in such a way that it starts to break through the cloud surrounding it, and eventually the surface becomes visible, and that's when we call it stage three. The temperature at the center of this emerging star is approximately 10,000 Kelvin, and you can see then that the very next stage is that through its circular motion, eventually in the centripetal forces, we see the collapse of the molecular cloud into a disk-shaped disc structure where we have what we call the planetary disk emerging and then the central emerging star is now, a very, is now what we could call a legitimate protostar where the core temperature reaches as much as a million degrees. This process where we go from something the size of the solar system but still in a spherical shape down into a into a disk shape with a planetary disk and an emergent star at the center, that stage three and four takes about 100,000 years. And then for the next 10 million years, the gravitational forces begin to compress the star into a smaller and smaller and smaller volume, slowly raising the core temperature up until the core temperature eventually reaches a temperature of 10 million de degrees. At that stage, of course, then it becomes a real, a real main sequence star. But it takes about 10 million years to get it from the stage where the temperature at the center is 1 million degree to where the temperature at the center is about 10 million degrees. It's a very long, slow process where gravity continues to compress and compress and compress. The protostar at this point has as much a radius as much as 100 times the radius of our current sun. So you can see that it's a slow process of going something from something that's potentially this big into something that's then about this big. So this is our, the size of our current sun, and this is the size of the proto-sun. So if we want to compare it to the stages our sun went through, the same kind of thing, where slowly over time, gravity compresses it into an ever tighter and tighter, more dense sphere, where eventually the temperature at the center reaches 10 million degrees. The stage to go from the proto-sun into the real sun, that takes about 10 million years. And those are the five stages that the emerging star, like the sun, goes through to become from something that was a molecular cloud into what well, we have a real star and that is how it works hmm? oh <laughs> well some pictures uh, here's a here's an instance where we have an emergent star it starts to glow you can start seeing the surface there and it begins to radiate out clearing out the dust and clouds around it and that's the process in which the solar system then slowly forms, pushing the lighter material outward and the heavier material, if there's any, then turning into what we call the, the terrestrial planets. In this case, I don't know if we will have those, but you can see that this is one of the stages where the surface begins to be visible, the star begins to heat up, the gravity will collapse it, and the radiation pressure will start clearing out the material, the lighter material from the inner solar system and push it towards the outer solar system. So there's a nice example of the process of star formation. This is a little box. The little box right here. Uh, I haven't looked at that yet, so I don't know. But it's probably an emerging star. <laughs> It's just another picture of here is a very long filament where it, here you can see that there is some sort of radiation pressure from a nearby source pushing the, pushing the nebula into this direction. Then here there appears to be an emerging star as well. So there's only two stars now? Uh, not necessarily there. It depends if there's enough mass, but there definitely looks like there's an emerging star at that point. It's just a different picture of something else. I don't know. I didn't look closely at what that one is. 
Yep, that's, those are two different pictures.